I've read a lot of history books over the years and I'm fascinated by ancient civilizations and their achievements. From these books, one place stands out in my mind above all others, Easter Island and the enigmatic Moai, carved from volcanic rock and standing up to 33 feet tall. The people of Easter Island were some of the most prolific statue builders in history, constructing over 1,000 of the statues. Hello folks, I'm Abfielder and this is the second episode of History in Minecraft with me, Abfielder. In this series, I get to combine my hobbies of history and Minecraft to bring you some absolutely awesome builds and stories. As always, the lightmatics of the builds will be over on abfielder.com. I'll put a link down in the description below. And if you want to see this statue or any other of the historical builds I do in this series, you can, as I build them on Abcraft, my completely free to play on survival server. All you need to do is join my Discord, link will be below and in the top right hand corner. Rapa Nui, better known to most of us as Easter Island, was settled between 600 and 800 AD by a group of colonists from the Eastern Polynesia area. And at some time around 1050 AD onwards, the people of Rapa Nui set about their prolific statue building, for which the island is most famous. At this point, I think it's fair to say the statue I'm building in the background isn't strictly like those of the Rapa Nui. I've taken some artistic license. The statues on average were four meters high, which probably wouldn't have made for a very long or very interesting YouTube video. They do, however, range from around about eight feet to one that wasn't completed, but would have stood 70 feet high and they typically weighed around 10 to 12 tons. The Moai have long, sloping noses, strong brows, and deeply inset eyes. Many examples wore red hats, which were carved from a very light red volcanic rock. The Moai were built to represent the ancestral chiefs of the island, who were believed to be descended directly from gods, and whose powers could be harnessed to benefit the people of the island. Each statue was commissioned by an individual or group and created by a team of stone workers under the supervision of a master carver. It would take as many as 15. It would begin by quarrying a large rectangular block using basalt picks. Once the figure had been shaped out, the master carver would start to add the finer details before the statue was taken to its platforms called Anahu. How they got the statues into location is much like the stones of Stonehenge in our previous episode and up for debate. Typically, unlike the statue I'm building in the video, the Moai would face inland, looking over the villages they were protecting. Once in position on their platforms, eye sockets were carved and then white coral and obsidian eyes were inserted during a ceremony which was to awaken the power of the Moai. Whilst they are often referred to as the Easter Island heads, they are in fact, again unlike my version, whole body statues. Misconception is because the most famous photographs show the heads on the slopes of Reino Raraku, I said that correctly, which had been buried up to their shoulders. The majority of the statues were carved from volcanic tuff, which is a fairly soft rock, unlike the stone I've used in my version. Statue building culture started to end around 1500 AD. When Dutch sailor Jacob Roggeveen, again I hope I said that right, arrived on Easter Sunday in 1722. You figured out how it became to known as Easter Island yet? The majority of the statues were still standing. It was after this initial visit, during the time between 1722 and 1868, that all of the Moai statues were toppled. Oral history includes an account of one clan pushing over a single statue in the night, but others refer to the earth shaking, and there is some evidence that earthquakes may have felled several of the statues. Today, around 50 of the statues have been re-erected on their platforms or at museums around the world, including, surprise surprise, the British Museum in London. Rapa Nui National Park and the Moai statues are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's a place I hope to have the chance to visit at some point in the future. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed the second episode of History in Minecraft. As I said at the beginning, if you want to build the statue in your own world, the lightmatic is on abfielder.com. Just a word of warning, including the landscaping, this took around 8 hours to build, not including the farms to provide the materials. If you can't be bothered to build it, and that's understandable, then you can come join Abcraft. All you need to do is join my Discord, and you can see this statue exactly as it is in the video. As always, please do that good stuff, hit that like button, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video, and if you haven't already, then subscribe to the channel. But for today folks, that's all I have time for, I'm Abfielder, goodbye.